In his new book, a local author is speaking out about all the evil we see in our daily lives. Dr. Eric Shores joins us next to talk about his latest work, Evil Does Not Have the Last Word. We all try to see the good in life, but there are also bad things we experience every day, and sometimes it can be tough to deal with those things. And that's exactly what Dr. Eric Shore's new book, Evil Does Not Have the Last Word, is looking into. Good morning to Dr. Shores. How are you doing this morning? Very well, Savannah. Thank you for having me on the show. No problem. Well, tell us a little bit about the book. When we turn on the news, we see examples of evil and tragedy touching lives every day. And when that evil or tragedy touches our life, we wonder why this is happening to us. Why would God let this happen to us? Does he care? It, does he even exist? And really what I want to explore in the book and what I do explore is there is hope there that even in our brokenness, even in our worst moments, that he's still working in our lives even though we have no idea how that could be. And one of the misconceptions that I try to address in the book is, is how we view God because some people will view God as what they get from him as say a, uh, a magic genie or a lottery ticket or a vending machine and it's really not about what God does for us in our lives it's what God does through us in our lives and so there are a lot of stories and examples in the book how brutal circumstances in our lives can be the benefit and the good of others even though when we're going through that tragic circumstance we may not understand how any good can come from it. Why address this issue in a book? Why, what inspired you to write this, I guess? Well, part of it was I've always been a fan of superheroes. And within the last 15 or so years, we've seen a lot of movies about superheroes. And if you look at them, they went through tragic circumstances for the most part, and they faced a choice. Do they take matters into their own hands, trusting only themselves, or do they trust God, even though when they have no idea you know, how they're going to get through the circumstance, how they're going to heal? And we face that decision too when we go through tragedies. Do we trust ourselves taking matters into our own hands? Or do we trust God even though we don't understand what's going on in overwhelming circumstances? So I contrast the lives of a few superheroes as people, not necessarily as heroes, and how that decision affected their life. And then also look at some biblical figures, Job, Joseph, and Esther, to show how real people handled this, went through brutal circumstances, not understanding how God could be working, and then seeing in the end that he was and used their tragedy for the benefit of many others. Yeah, and you can actually find this right here on, on your technology on Amazon.com or free. You have an app on your tablet anywhere. You just head on over there and you can find Dr. Shore's book, Evil Does Not Have the Last Word. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Coming up, we'll take another look at your weather.